Howdy -o. Oh my god, you're so fat. Why are you so fat? Let's just a man. Welcome back to Stronghold Warlords. I am the matter today, gentlemen. Well, today we'll be playing the full game. Today we'll be playing the full version of the game. Let's just a man. We'll be diving in into ancient China. We'll be going and killing. And in the name of the Emperor, we'll be claiming territories and a bunch of other stuff. If you don't know, basically this is the newest installment of the Stronghold uh, franchise. The key has been supplied by the uh, by the developers, which I'm very, very grateful. And, well, I'm not gonna play the tutorial. Shh, tutorial. Ha! I am the greatest warlord. And, well, today we will kill the enemies. And, okay, well, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh... Now, please remember that I am actually recording this thing before the actual release of the game. So that means that my UI may look look a little bit different. Uh, so please be aware of that thing. Now, just so you know, there are five five campaigns in Stronghold Warlords. Four of them are military campaigns and one of them is an economic campaign, which I'm guessing is this one over here. Of course, we're not gonna focus on economy. <laughs> Pathetic economy. Economy is for the peasants. I am a warlord. And today, we're gonna try to do... Jungle Kingdoms, apparently. Mission 1. A new king. After the death of the king of Tuk clan, the responsibility of his people have fallen to the shoulders of his son, Tuk Pan. Sure. Why not? I mean... Oh. Oh, this is you. Through generations of rule over the Van Lang Kingdom, the Hung kings have overseen many improvements in technology and industry, with reliable irrigation methods securing rice as a staple crop to support a thriving population. But their dynasty is also marked by ongoing campaigns of war, which have suppressed the villages and towns of this land. Eager to continue expansion, the Hung King turns his gaze to the tribes in the north, and his armies march to the frontiers. Yo, I'm getting the Age of Empires vibe over here. That's nice, devs. That's nice. North of Van Lang, many tribes flourish on the fertile lands at the base of the mountains. But the Thuk tribe is in a precarious position. Their leader has died, and now his son, Thuk Fan, must take on the role of king at a young age. His people are proud and resilient, with battle-hardened warriors. But the neighbouring tribes believe they have spotted a moment of weakness. They see the new ruler as inexperienced, and have combined their forces to unseat the new king with an immediate attack. Okay, so as usual, uh, I'm gonna try to play on the hard difficulty. We'll see how that thing is gonna go. Move all the troops in the village to where the attacks are coming from. Place blowpipe tribes on top of the cliffs uh, for advantage. Okay, that's great. Attack a warlord to bring down their health until they kneel. <laughs> really? Move some troops next to kneeling warlord to demand their obedience. Use diplomacy points to ensure edicts to capture warlords. You can capture warlords in any order. Ay! Arigato gozaimasu! Let's... No, not this screen. Right, so yeah, if you don't know, uh, ancient Asia, ancient China, whatever, think, uh, basically, a lot of rice planting. Hello. Hey, that's pretty nice. There's a kid running around here. A message from Thuk Fan. To me, my warriors, we will win this day. Okay, we got an incoming enemy. Okay, can I slow down the game? Game speed slow. Okay, I prefer, I prefer it this way because Highness, our numbers are strong, but there are troops holding back. I suggest you take the warriors near our keep and bring them into the fray. I am trying to. Tr we are under attack. Okay, so we got uh, multiple access points apparently. Right, we can get attacked from multiple points. I have to claim some of the warlords. That's for sure. All right, and you guys, what you doing? Okay, you're having fun. Right, you should be able to defend. In the meantime, I will have to prepare for the incoming fights. Uh, we need to get ourselves some wood camps. Yeah, let's let's set up a wood camp over here. How much wood I have? I have 100 wood. Okay. Right, we also need to get ourselves some food, so... We have fended them off, but more are coming. I suggest reinforcing our numbers before they arrive, Highness. I just have to figure out how to rotate build legs. And I'll be fine. Okay, that's rotating ca camera. How do you rotate buildings? Hello? No, sissy, how do I ro- Ah! What the- What the scroll? Who would have thought? Okay, I need to get some more rice fields. We need to have food. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna attack it from this side. Okay, how I can get some troops? The heck is this? 
barricade. A wooden defense structure absorbs all enemy missiles. Fire within small radius. Hey, that's nice. That's awesome, actually. Okay, get the blowpipes on the cliff over here, as the game have suggested. And you guys get us a blowpiper over there. We should be fine anyway. Can I build some more defenses? I need to get some more troops. Just waiting for your command, your highness. How this is I supposed to be my master? keep. <laughs> it's a wooden tower. Oh, this is gonna be a disaster. But I got some troops with more, with more defenses. That's for sure. Okay, get on the foothill. Okay, here. Our numbers are bolstered. How reassuring. And just in time, I see troops on the good. horizon. Good, 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 good. Okay, incoming enemy. Prepare for fight, boys. We have a fight to win. Here comes the enemies. I wonder if those shields actually help them a lot or this is just like for showing. Also, that would explain why in the demo version there were troops with, uh, with the pipes and basically like some spear tribesmen, right? Now it ha now it has a logical point. I was not aware of this thing. Bended, my friend. Your command fills me with pride. Now, great, you awesome. How about you gonna you tell me? a village with equal skill. How I can get taxes? Hello, I don't ta have tax. Uh, okay, I'm getting some money, but taxation. Aha! Right. So how the situation? However, we are now running low on wood. I would suggest placing some wood camps, sire. I am working on that thing. Okay, so just so you're gonna be on the... Can it's you shut up? Cowering and look outwards. Let's see what your warriors can do. By capturing the neighboring warlords of this region, the king can send a stark message to any who still challenge him. Each warlord must be defeated in combat before he will swear loyalty to you. Okay, great. Absom. Uh, right, I'm recruiting some troops. I'm gonna leave those guys over here just in case. And this new army will go over the river, over the barricades, and we're gonna try to claim uh, this keep. Pick warlord. This warlord has no master and may be captured with the military force or diplomatic influence. There's this kid running around the map and he doesn't give shits about anything. How did you manage to run on the water? Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> right. Can you guys claim this fake? Thank you. Thank you. What? Jot? Jot? All right. I think I've. I think I think I've made an overkill over here. Right. Go upstairs and introduce the warlord to the floor. Yeah, a bit of an overkill. Hey, stand next to the warlord to capture him. I am standing next to the warlord. What? You want me to? Send my own lord? I am yours to command. This warlord no, I don't have is now to. under your command, Excellency. Click on the warlord's button to open the warlord's map. Warlord button? Which is the warlord button? It's an overview of the whole battlefield. Your estate is marked with the icon of your lord. The other estates are held by local warlords and can be captured to acquire strategic advantages. Click on your newly captured warlord to view the edicts available to them. Okay, so I can request food from him, and if I'm gonna upgrade him, he will make my uh, rice fields more efficient. I don't want. Okay, whatever. I have been sent. A smart move, Highness. The shipments are on their way. Each good, warlord good. type has a unique set of edicts available, as well as a unique perk when under your control. Yeah, I noticed about the perks. Thank you. With Can honor, you please? The Thuk clan rises. You have proven my trust is well placed, but we are not secure here yet. We must capture one more warlord before the neighboring tribes leave us be. It's good to have friends, I'm told. <laughs> yeah, especially friends that keep sending you shipments of rice, apparently. Okay, so basically, go to the river, through the jungle. Like, th this is a proper jungle. Like, th th this is nice, right? And. Hello, how are you? Oh my god, you're so fat! Why are you so fat? I don't know, and I'm just gonna murder you, how about that, huh? Yes, it's true. The barricades are awesome when it comes to defending yourself from, from Archer Fire. That's gonna be something I have to remember for the future notice. Especially with fighting with the Warlords that are actually more dangerous. And here comes another attack. 
Well, hello there. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. I need to get myself some more uh, troops over there, and I actually need to build the barricade as well. Yours to command. A message from Thug Fan. Another warlord is ours. The spirit of the Thug clan stands unbroken once more. Oh, already? I wanted to prepare for the incoming battle. <laughs> Well, that mission was really quick, but it's a first mission. The first missions are always quick. You know, that's how the game actually works. And that means the second mission has been unlocked. We thanked the tribes. With the shame growing, Tuk Pan looks to, uh, to the border region, contented by the encarding Hunk forces. Okay. Right, so just so you're gonna be aware of it, as usual, ladies and gentlemen, one episode. One mission per episode as minimum. So we're gonna of course continue this thing during the future episodes I hope I haven't went through this thing too fast for you If you are a veteran of the stronghold game, you probably know exactly what has happened if you are new to the game well uh, Your job here is to build a keep you build a keep you supply your people with resources with food with with goods with services a bit about the services It's not like let's say a no uh, 1800 and stuff like that, you know, the services over here are quite limited You make money, you make weaponry, you make armors, you recruit an army And then you send that army to conquer the enemy tribes I just hope that this time all of a sudden the wolf won't appear Out of nowhere Somehow, you know, resurrecting the wolf like three times in a row That's not gonna happen, hopefully, maybe So, I hope that this time we're gonna get ourselves uh, like a new proper villain, you know, somebody who make you wake at night in the middle of the night screaming because he's just about to attack your keep. But that's gonna be the thing, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna try to do during the future episodes because for now, well, I'm gonna leave this thing over here. The game should be now available for everybody to play or will be available very shortly. So, links in the description below. As always, go ahead, give it a try and let me know, let me know what you think. And, well, Stronghold is back on the menu, boys. But that's gonna be the thing. For the future. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like it was up to the absolute. I'll see you all in the next video.